Hi everyone, Chada here with uh, Design and Craft with Style. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, um, a lampshade. Uh, as you know, I'm remodeling my bedroom and I want to do a shabby shade look. So a friend of mine brought me this lampshade. I thought this is perfect, perfect. Uh, I have a, a floor lamp. Um, well, you know, one of those uh, floor lamps that's, you know, they needed a shade. And so this is going to be just what I'm looking for. Uh, I got myself a little bit uh, ahead of myself because otherwise it would take a long, long time. So what I have done, this little, this uh, particular shade uh, was very dirty, uh, off-white, and basically, you know, didn't have anything as far as trimmings or anything. It has a few like little bumps in here and there. Uh, it has a little bit of a, a little, you know, cut or something broke, you know, stirred up in there and a little bit in here. But I'm not worrying about it because uh, we'll just go ahead and be able to cover it up. So once I had it all cleaned up, the first thing I did was painted it with this um, glass uh, gallery, it's, it's called Gallery Glass Window co Color. And this is uh, slate blue, and the number is 16013. I don't know if you can tell what it is, but that's what it is, okay? Uh, so what I did, I just poured some paint, you know, onto the shade. And with my brush, just, you know, just bounce it. Just bounce the whole thing until you get the effect that you want it. Uh, what I wanted to do, have more like a, um, a stained glass look. And so in some places, it's a little bit heavier than the other one, but it's okay. Now I think in here it looks more green, but it really is blue. Um, and um, once I got the effect that I wanted, you know, I let it dry. And, and start doing what I needed to do, which is I'm using some appliques today. These appliques, which is absolutely beautiful. See this here? Isn't it gorgeous? I got these by the yard. You know, it counts by the yard. Uh, and Hancock store. Unfortunately, the Hancock stores are all closed now, but uh, when I bought it, it was uh, closing out. Um, they were closing out and it was 80% off, which it was fantastic. Anyway, this is what we're gonna put on there. Also, what I did, you know, I measured it on here and it was not going, it's gonna, see how it was gonna kinda of not fit in there? It was just not gonna fit just right. So what I did was, right here on this little curve in here, I decided I'm gonna snip in here snip in here, you know, just kind of cut that around so that eventually then I can rearrange it and I'll show you how in just a second, okay? And I did the same thing in here. Oops. Also, I cut these little, two little leaves in here. See those two little leaves in there? I cut those off. And we'll reuse them. I'll show you too how we're going to use this and we don't want to lose them. <laughs> and also, let's see, I believe it's this little leaf in here. Also, I took that off. So I got those leaves off on that one, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this one here. And I see there are two little leaves in there. I believe it's this one, it is? Yeah, that's all it wants, okay. And this one here. It's a beautiful uh, piece of lace. And uh, I thought it would look really pretty in this lamp. And it does. Okay, so this one go on this side here. And this is going to go on this side here. I'm also using the Fabric Fusion. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, you can use Fabric Tag, whatever. But this is what I'm using today. And yes, it's a little sticky, but uh, I, you know, I keep a little rag by hand, and uh, it's like if my hands get really sticky, 
then we'll just take care of it. All right, this is gonna go right, how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna place it in here like so, okay? And then this one here, oops, let's see, make sure I get the right side there, okay. This is gonna go right into this, let's see, and just down in here, see? There we go. That's how it's gonna go. So that way we can take care of all these pieces that I wanted right there. It's gonna look really good. So we're just gonna start doing our thing here. And the reason I use the, the fabric fusion too is that, uh, you know, you have a little more time to, uh, if you don't like, if you wanna move it around or, uh, you know, And also, it makes it so smooth. There we go. It makes it, you know, when it's dry, it's just smoother looking without being too, too lumpy. The glue gun is fantastic, but sometimes, you know, it's uh, not a good thing. Just gonna keep on going in this direction. This is going to be a two-part video. Uh, I find in that if I do a shorter videos, it's easier to process the videos. Uh, maybe I'm just not doing right right, right now, but uh, it seems to take forever to get them processed. So I thought by doing the shorter ones, then it may be pop, it's gonna be better. So that's what I, I plan to do. Okay, there you go, see? And then, of course, if you miss some of them, just go ahead and put some more in here and there, whatever you needed it. And uh, just... Tack them on there. But yeah, this lace pretty much, there has to be all of it. It needs to be, uh, you know, glued down. So like I say, I found it easier. And then I can move it around if I want to some, and so on, okay? Now this one here, this one's gonna go, let's see, I'm gonna do it right like so. See, right there, okay? And once you get started, this goes pretty fast. This has got eight, different panels and like I said I got myself a little bit ahead of myself because I didn't know how long it was gonna take and and uh, I figured it would be easy for me to try out to see how long it's gonna be okay see what I'm doing okay this I want that in here but there and I want this right over here so you really, what you're doing is just kind of, uh, you know, play with it a little bit until you get it just like you want it. And I think this little piece in here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it just to get it more uh, right there. Okay, there we go. It's gonna look really, really good right there. And then these little pieces that I was showing you that we cut off, well, we're gonna use them, folks. So what we, I'm gonna do is, let me put this up so you maybe be able to see better. Just put this first little rabbit ears, little rabbit ears right inside these two bigger leaves and then the other make sure they kind of excuse me I want to make sure they're kind of going more to the you know toward this direction okay there we go I need that down a little bit more and then we're going to put the bigger leaf that I took off you know right in here it's really playing with it until you say hey I'm happy with it you know and when you're happy Hey, it's not 
You know what they say, if mama's happy, everybody's happy? Well, that's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> okay, and this in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more in here. I don't have enough in this one, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, there we got it, okay, there we got it. I just have to bring this one a little bit more down. See what I mean? If we had glue it with, um, with a glue gun, which had been okay, uh, then you don't have the the time span to be able to do this, you know. And I figure this will be so much better, so much easier to do it this way. All right. So we got one side done. Can you see it? Okay. And now we're gonna do this other side. And again, you know, it's gonna be kinda of like that. And since you got this one, then you have something to guide yourself from and uh, get it about, you know, in the same direction. And the wonderful thing about this lace, it just happened to be mirror image. So that was a very good thing. love this uh, fabric fusion I really 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 do um, some people don't you know they find it maybe a little bit like you said see okay now I know I, I stop myself and go to another direction but I wanted to show you that this little piece in here that it was tore up okay well that's not a problem now it, you don't see it see you don't see it at all and I, like I say, just guide yourself from one side to the other one so you kind of get them both about the same, okay? There we go. And there we go, see? Just try to get yourself a little bit, like these leaves in here and so on. It does help a little bit to have a little bit of, um, you know, orientation. That's good. See? Let me go ahead and wipe my hands a little bit. It says it's not so bad, really, and, and uh, as long as you got something, you know, to uh, get some of that stickiness out of you every once in a while, that's all you really do need. Okay, let me get some more in here because I don't think I got enough. And that's okay. Sometimes you have to put a little extra, but that's okay. Excuse me just a second. I need to turn on my curling iron. I, I mean my curling iron. Oh boy, am I really something. My uh, glue gun. Because I want it ready whenever I, I'm ready for it. See, at my age, you forget. <laughs> but that's okay. The world is not perfect. And neither am I. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna put this one. Make sure that there's enough room for this other one in here. And again, we're going to bring this right there. Excuse me, right there. And you know what? They don't have to be perfect. I'm not that fussy. If somebody comes and wants to look at it and measure everything, well, that's just too bad. I don't think they're gonna do that. All right. As I say, okay, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little piece in here again so that can, I can, you know, control this a little bit better. Okay. And I think it looks 
looks pretty good, really does. This one may need a little bit more. Let's see, okay, there we go, oh yeah. Okay, there we go. We move this way, and then we move this way. Just kind of wiggle it in there. <laughs> Wiggly, wiggly, and uh, it's gonna be fine. Okay, now we're gonna put again the little tiny little rabbit ears and the other little leaf in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little extra. And we are basically almost done in this here. So see, it didn't take very long. Um, It's just a matter of just playing with it. Okay. All right, there we go. And then of course, make sure that everything is, uh, I'll let it dry first. And then if I have to go back, then I will. So here it is. And this one I need to put over my little in there so it won't show okay and there it is and then I did that all the way around it okay uh, once I, then the next step and I'm, we can start we're, we're gonna be able to do this so this is great I have this awesome ribbon that I bought here it is at Walmart and here it is I don't know if you saw it it's just like a mesh a gold mesh in it pretty it's absolutely beautiful and it's probably about an inch yeah pretty close to an inch probably not quite but close enough so what I did I measure from here from the bottom to the top and cut it off and then once I cut it off what I did is I fold it really good in the center and then just start cutting right as it as it's as I have it folded okay I'll just go ahead and cut it that way I know it's gonna be just right like that And you just keep on going to high, you know, however length you need. I already have this one cut, so let me measure it from here to here and cut that off. And then I'll finish cutting this here, okay? So let me fold it. Let's see. And it folds nice, but I still like to hold it because I want to be sure that I. You know, I don't get one side longer or wider than the other. Mm. There we go. So you get out of one, you're going to get two. Okay? And since I already have mine cut right here, I'll go ahead and use this one. And it does have a wrong and a right side. The right side is very shiny, and the, the wrong side is kind of, uh, you know, dull looking. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is put some of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I get it both sides a little bit. I don't, I'm not going to be worried about getting some extra glue on either side because I will go ahead and wipe it off in a little bit. And also what I'm going to do once all of this is done is probably do a th thing over it. And that way, see, you don't have to go over the edge because we're gonna have some more trim around here. So this is fine, see? And I just go ahead and um, 
and leave it there, see? And the polydura thing is gonna take care of the rest of it, so I'm not gonna worry about it if I put a little more glue than not. See, just wipe it off. Okay, now over this one, and you wanna make sure that it's really laying down. And what I do, I go ahead and let that sit there for a sec while I do the other sides, and then I'll come back and press it a little bit more, it'll stick on a little bit better. So, let's do the corner here. And basically, we're gonna do the same. Go into. I love crafting, ladies and gentlemen. I love it, love it. But I also love to watch your tutorials. I really do. I learn a lot from it. Uh, you know, the same way I hope you learn from me. Um, it's it's amazing, uh, the talent that is up there. It's just unbelievable. Okay, I think I did this a little bit long, so we're going to cut that off. We don't need it quite so long, so I'm going to cut that off right there. Okay, I'm just gonna touch it. And, and what I wanna do is make sure, this is where the wiring of the frame of the lamp shade is, and so by putting a trim in here, it's gonna take care of it. Now, unfortunately, I tried it with the light, put it you know, over a, a, another lamp to see what it was gonna look like, and this particular trim, you still see the um, you know the, the the wiring or the the frame so what I did what we're gonna do is put something else on top of it and it still was gonna look good you're still gonna have see the little edges of this one and they will take care of the uh, you know kind of see through the wiring through the a lighted lampshade which I didn't like so okay let's do the other side gonna do this one see I just love this this trim this I wanted to do it just the trim itself but like I said it just did not work for me so I pretty much had to go back and do something else to it but this is how what happens you know and sometimes what we think we is gonna work it doesn't so uh, it's okay uh, I live in a very old house and I have pretty much uh, probably be done every room in my house and it's like Pandora, <laughs> Pandora's box, you never know what you get when you get started. So I'm used to, uh, and then I have an idea, but by the time I'm th uh, I get through with the project, it's completely different. So it's the same thing when you work on a craft, sometimes you have an idea, but that idea for some reason does not work on that project. You have to change it a little bit. So this is what I did to this little lamp. Okay, let's see this one. I think this is gonna be good. Like I say, mainly you wanna make sure that it's down really well. And this one is already, you know, see if you leave it alone for a little bit and go back to it, then now it's laying flat like I wanted to. See? All right. Okay. Well, this one here also I got in Walmart. It's a metallic ribbon. And I really do like it. It's, um, it's can you see that? It's real sweet and it has the same color. And this is what I'm actually going to use to put over the, uh, this piece here. And it works absolutely fantastic. So, but I think this one I'm gonna do it with a little bit of glue, with the uh, the the hot glue gun because it's narrower. And I will see how sweet that looks. 
you can still see some of the uh, that trim but this one is more and it takes care of that that frame that I didn't like to see through it I wanted to see the ribbons but I didn't want to see the frame see just stay straight as much as you can still have the fray edges but it looks good can you see that I like that I like that a lot so we just do the same thing in here uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get this you know flatter down much because like I said we it, it'll go down okay. so again I'm gonna do this Oops. this particular ribbon he seems to curl up a little bit but you can straighten it out, so you stretch it out if you need to, but it will be fine, okay? But for some reason, it's kind of curly, and it looks like curly on, on one little side here. For some, you see how it is? But it's easy to, uh, to straighten it out, so don't worry about it. And I just hold it down in here, and then, you know... Um, You smooth down the rest of it and it just go right in there see it really gives it another look and I, I, I just love it I, I think it's it's really what I was looking for and uh, I'm happy with it okay make sure there's a little bit Everything is glued nicely to the end, and then that's it in this side, see? I can go back and, uh, you know, kind of stick it on there uh, a little bit at a time, and it's fine. The same thing I can do with the, with the uh, oops. Uh, that's the only problem when you're working on, uh, and it's still a little wet, things move around, but I'm not gonna worry too much. I can always fix it and then we'll get it done just fine. You know, when I get done with this, I'll go back and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, okay? All righty. All righty. And now we're gonna do this one. Oops, see what I mean? <laughs> hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. It's A-okay. Now, has this been uh, done with a glue gun, of course, it would have been a problem. But since it's not, then, of course, it can be placed back on where it's supposed to go. Cool. Okay, let's do this one now. And Being from, from Spain uh, and uh, going to 
the schools in, you know, in, uh, in Spain, that's where I graduated from, uh, they teach you a lot of homework. Uh, in the afternoon was always the time for homework. But as far as crafting, crafting, uh, it was not done. Uh, the crafters would be the, you know, the, the old crafters that did some beautiful stuff, you know, and uh, the masters, I guess you could call it. Uh, but so we were just taught to do like embroidery, you know, crochet, uh, knitting, all that kind of stuff, sewing, of course. And, um, oops, this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Looks like it just. Um, and I'm probably gonna end it up doing some more. Uh, but not anything like we're doing nowadays, you know. So when I came to the United States, it was so cool. I'm gonna have to put some of this, otherwise it's not going to do it. Nothing seems to work when you're working on, on, on uh, when you're taking a video or when you're doing something uh, in front of somebody else, seems like it. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. At least I tuck it down. Anyway, so we never did anything like this. and. When I first came to the United States, uh, uh, when actually when I first got married, uh, my first year uh, with a family, and I wanted to give gifts for everybody, but of course, you know, my husband was in school, we couldn't afford it and all that, so my neighbor was a crafty young woman, and uh, she asked me, she said, well, how much money do you have to spend? So I told her, but she was very little. Uh, and she said, well, let's go. So we went to a dime, dime store, and some of you probably do not remember, and some of you there are more my age do. It was when they were making those, um, you know, antique, you buy the fruits, the plastic fruits, and then you antique it, and you put it in a basket. Anyway, that's what we did. And I thought it was so cool. So that's when I got, you know, introduced into actually the crafting world. And I've been hooked ever since. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. So I just take my crafting and I live, it's just sort of in a different direction. Oh, uh, you know, um, I like the nice things in life. Uh, how do you say it? You have, you like uh, the champagne taste, but you have a, a beer pocketbook? Okay, that's kind of what, a, you know, <laughs> what it is. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I love to find things in life, and I love to make them. And uh, I'm one of those that will go into, uh, you know, get those nice magazines to see what's going on, and then come home and reproduce them and or make my own thing so it's, it's a lot of fun i really 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 enjoy it okay we got this done and as you can see i have it done all the way around now in this awesome it is a beautiful in it so um the next thing, like I said, what I would do, even on top of this gold trim, before I do anything else, it would be polyurethane, the whole thing. Now, I've already done this size in here, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the, uh, I'm gonna put some French on it, so I can wait. This is the French, isn't that gorgeous? And I'm not sure, I'm gonna say that I got it at Hancock's also, some time ago, that was before they closed down. But it's beautiful, and it's about, let's see, one, it's about three inches wide, or three inches long. So I'm going to put that right on top of this edge in here. And now this I'm going to do with a glue gun. And I'm not worried, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off because even the little bit that I need to uh, do um, polyurethane over it, uh, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'll just be careful with it and everything. So let's just do this. And put this on there like so. 
think it's so pretty. Ooh, that's gonna look gorgeous. I can tell. I like it. I will be making, I will, once I get my room done, and like I said, it may, may take a while because uh, I, I have so many other things that I have to do that it doesn't, you know, I don't have time for everything, but it's getting done slowly, so that's a good thing. At least it's getting done. And uh, once I get it done, I will do a tour video of my room so y'all can see it. And I will have the before and the after. Uh, I did a, actually it has not been that long since I uh, remodeled it. And I did it for, you know, so my husband will be uh, comfortable in it too. But uh, after he passed away, well, I thought, well, it's been six years and I figure it's time for me to do something different to that room. And I like lace, I like shabby chic, I like everything feminine. I'm a girly, girly, girly girl. And so I thought, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And so that's what we're going to do. Here, I'm just going to come back here and give a little bit of a twist right in here and keep on going, okay? Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, it's just gonna be so funny. I'm excited. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't need a grandmother. I, I can, <laughs> I praise myself. <laughs> But you know, it's okay to do that. You need to be excited on what you do, how dull will be if you do not. And let me tell you, it's not what everybody likes, it's what you like, okay? That is the name of the game. Uh, now, if you like what I do, please, by all means, I don't care, you copy it and whatever. But it's nothing more better than be your own self because it, it, it shows uh, your personality. It, it's just wonderful uh, to to do the things you like to do it your way. Never be guided by others. Uh, unless, in other words, I always said criticism is good as long as constructive criticism. And uh, other than that, do not pay attention. Do what you like to do. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so pretty. I'm excited. I'm very, very, very excited. Let's see, I'm just gonna put that right there. There we go. Oh, me. I was blessed. I had a husband that provide for us for our family very well but even then I never you know uh, I always make my things because I enjoyed it and I think it's a good thing because you never know when the time comes that we have to save and the world is crazy nowadays so you know it's nice if we can do some of the things that we do uh, to save money and um, and you know, uh, you always want your home nice and and well put together and all that. And if you don't have the money to do it, uh, it's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and redo that here, or actually, I'm going to uh, you know uh, glue it here in a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But, but yeah, if uh, you know you like nice things, why spend the money? Just make it. You can do it. Look at this. A lampshade that I had seen better days that the lady, uh, you know, had in a box, and uh, and my friend saw it and grabbed it. You know, uh, she was very sweet and she didn't charge me anything for it. And you know, it's because we all do things for our friends too. You know, and look how nice it's looking. I should take her to her friend, to the lady that had the garage sale, because I know her, and said, do you remember this? <laughs> she probably have a cow now. She wish probably had it. 
Alrighty. Now I'm not taking any of this uh, ends yet off, you know, until I finish because that kind of keeps it together for right now. When I'm done with the whole thing and put it on the uh, lamp, then I will do it. Okay, see, I just kind of turn it a little bit, kind of give a little, I pleat it a little bit and then over it, and then that way it just lays as I want it to. It's not pulling anywhere. Try to make it, you know, fairly even around that little arch or whichever lamp shade you're gonna do. You, you know, if you don't find anything like this, you can still do the same effect on something else. Uh, it don't have to be the same size or the same shape. Uh, lamp shades. All right. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It's too cute to go worse. Okay, so we're gonna cut, I'm gonna cut right here. So that way it comes even. And then I'm gonna cut right here, and there we go. Okay. And I'm just gonna come in and finish this off. Right, look at that, folks. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yep, I'm happy. Okay, well, we're going to have another, uh, this, we're going to have a second to, uh, video and we'll finish it off. So until then, uh, I'll see you in a little bit and I will have them run next to each other. In other words, so you won't have to wait on a video. Um, so I'll see you soon. Bye.